Welcome back Islanders. Covered this briefly in the last video about great white shark sightings that I want to do an expedition uh, looking for great whites around the UK 2022. It's gone pretty much viral so I figured it deserved its own video. I'm going to talk more about my plan today but first I'm going to get out on the water because that is my favourite place. See you out there. Two thousand and three was the last, to my knowledge, official expedition. Probably the only expedition I know of, where people have gone out looking for great white sharks in British waters. Now they did it on the south coast of England. It was a ten or thirteen day trip. They were hampered by weather. However, they did cover over a hundred kilometres, but they didn't find anything. Twenty twenty two is approaching next year. I think this could be the year where we do it. Disclaimer. I'm not a lunatic. I'm not out here banging saucepans at the moon, uh, waiting for aliens or the Loch Ness Monster to appear. Generally believe, and so do a lot of you guys, that white sharks are prevalent in our waters. Maybe the odd vagrant visitor, I don't think we have loads of them. However, conditions are optimal, there's food sources. If you haven't already seen any of my series, it's all linked below. Check some of it out. To do it properly, and I think this is where the exciting part is. I'm going to bring you guys in on it. Subscribers, new and old, thank you for your uh, mostly kind words. I think what we need to do is pick a destination. I'm fancy in Scotland. I know a few people have commented saying they've got orcas. Orcas scared the great whites away from South Africa. We've got about seven orcas there. Uh, there's only one resident pod and I don't think they will scare off white sharks. There's not enough of them. 2022 is going to be very exciting because O-Search are also going to begin tagging white sharks in the Mediterranean and I do believe if we do get any white sharks they're probably juvenile white sharks that are born in the Mediterranean which is known to be a, a bit of a breeding ground. Come up past ours, have a look. Now I'm situated on the Isle of Man which is right smack bang in the middle of the British Isles which is quite good for me because I do believe if we do have white sharks traveling from the south coast up to Scotland, they're coming past here where I live. So I'll be doing a series of one day expeditions, either by kayak, which I'm on right now. I've got friends with boats, ribs. We'll go much further out. However, let's talk about the main expedition. So I believe it needs to be around about 10 days, but it's gotta be, I said this, it's gotta be proper. I can't just do it on a whim. It needs to be planned properly. And I think this will be the first episode of the Shark Expedition series uh, where you guys can follow along for the journey. And well, let's hopefully make it happen. One thing I will say is I genuinely believe once, once we have a plan, I will go to the press about this and I think it's gonna gain some bloody good traction. So if you are uh, interested in sponsoring us, I don't want money sent to me directly. I'll go into the details of that later on. And we might have a boat, by the way. I've been offered a boat with all the latest sonar stuff. Haven't spoke to him uh, in any great detail, but that's uh, bang on. To make this credible, we need a marine biologist or a shark expert. So if you are a marine biologist or a shark expert, you'd be interested in coming along. That'd be much appreciated. I'll talk more shortly about all the technology that I think we need, and I'm open to suggestions. This is very much in the infancy, but it is gonna happen. Mark my words. I believe we need uh, someone who's can scuba dive, I can scuba dive, but I don't really think it's uh, safe to go in the water on your own. That's got nothing to do with sharks. I uh, always have a buddy, but I have free dived with tiger sharks outside a cage, uh, white sharks in a cage. Uh, I'm more than prepared to go in the water with these things. Again, I don't want to win a Darwin Award, but sharks are vilified all around the world, and I don't believe the reputation is, is warranted. Now, further on, I get loads of people saying, leave them alone, leave them alone. If we do find them in these waters, my priority is to get them protected. That's only a good thing. And I think we would get that, no problem. I have spoken to Richard Pierce's team uh, and I'll continue talks about what they learned on their expedition. You know, any lessons we can learn from that, it's only a good thing. Very open-minded. 
any suggestions from you guys by all means comment below if you are in any way interested in uh, helping us out my email address is here please don't spam me or sign me up to any dodgy mailing lists there's been a couple of other suggestions from subscribers about setting up a GoFundMe page to do it. That for me would be very much a last resort. I believe we can do better than that at this stage. They've also been uh, suggested about contacting the likes of National Geographic to see if they want any involvement for Shark Week. I mean, by all means, when this gets legs, I will contact them and see if they, they want to send anybody down. I mean, it would be good to have a videographer with us so just before we go back to dry land, one thing which I think is very important is, you know, people are saying, oh, you've got no chance, mate, there's, there's, no le there's no adventures left in the world. Google Maps, yeah, might have mapped the whole world. It hasn't mapped any of the oceans. We're still discovering new species every year. So what do you guys think? Are they here? Have they ever been here? Will they ever be here, the great white shark? Let's go back on dry land and we'll discuss a bit of technology. Okay, troll cam's about to go in. Hope that's not the last time I see me uh, GoPro. <laughs> to make this actually half decent, we need to be different than the 2003 expedition in some respects, and we're very fortunate. Approaching 2022, we have loads of modern technology that can aid us. First things first, drones, aerial viewpoints. When you chum in the waters, one of these above, absolutely show what's up there this thing here takes me probably the best part of 45 seconds to turn on get in the sky so if something approaches we're good to go there next thing i have an underwater drone uh, it's called the gladius mini it films in 4k it's capable of 330 feet or 100 meters underneath that's unbelievable it's remote controlled it's got pincers it's got lights uh, thank you for the subscriber who sent me that by the way I will be showing you guys that in a future video. That's going to prove unbelievable when we are chumming the waters or if anything shows up. We need to be underneath having a look. 360 degree cameras. This camera's got two lenses on it. It's fully waterproof. And what we do is we put these in the water and they video everything around us. Check this out. Let's just turn it on. Okay, so we're recording. That sits under the water afterwards which is the difference between the likes of this, which is a GoPro. I choose what I want to look at. This records everything. This only records what I point it at. So these will be in the water. They will record everything 360 degrees below, above. You probably saw this today, the homemade troll cam. So this sits behind the camera. You'll notice there's a little mount on it here. This is to tow uh, a cutout of a seal. I also have been designing a seal with a camera built in. I've got loads of GoPros from all the skydiving and this will be brilliant. This actually, for the first time out, was pretty good. So I look forward to using this a little bit more. We're going to use sonar. Uh, it's going to scan the water, see if anything big's coming. You've probably seen loads of people do this in uh, Loch Ness. Uh, looking for the Loch Ness monster and all that. I don't know how to use it, but that's why I need you guys for. So O-Search, which is a shark tagging company, I'm gonna to speak to them and see if they can give us any shark tags that we might be able to use on probably Makos and uh, poor beagles, etc., and just see their movements around the British waters. If you guys can think of anything else, technology-wise, that can aid us, comment below. Like I say, we're a team. This is only episode one of the Great White Shark Expedition 22. But together, I do believe we can make a success of the trip. Whether we come across anything big like a great white, that's anybody's guess. <laughs> Will we get that close to some big teeth? Well, thanks again for watching. It's quite exciting times. Now, I still don't class myself as a YouTuber. I just share adventures on the internet, which I, I do enjoy making the videos. However, the old analytics thing does tell me that 95% of you guys aren't subscribed. So if you are interested in following along with how this uh, shark expedition develops, by all means subscribe. If not, that's not a problem. Just uh, enjoy the trip and uh, any, uh, anything you guys can do to help, uh, especially sponsorship, contact me and the various means. All right, enjoy the rest of your week. And I mean, check this out. This isn't bad for October, is it?
I can live with that. Have a good one, guys. Stay safe.